Hi everybody, I thought that we would do a video today about what it's like to live with lots of people in our head. Our DID. I don't know how to explain that. I will let one of the grown up ones explain. But I just thought I'd show you it our breakfast. But it's actually like 2pm because we didn't sleep very well. We had night terrors and we were super, super tired and didn't have any energy when we got up. So I had to wait for one of the grown ups to come out so that I could make some toasts. And we was gonna have cereals, but because most of us in the system are vegans, like everybody but Charlie, she, uh, yeah, we used plant milk and I forgot to put some in the fridge, so we're having toast instead, which means I had to use the grill and then I needed a grown up. So that's my jam on toast for breakfast. And my desk is all messy because we was making things yesterday. We was making cards and we put Christmas trees on them. Like that. And they were super pretty and we used this nice ribbon. It's got Christmas trees on it. Yeah. So later on we have to go food shopping because we run out of food. And I hate going food shopping, it scares me. So I'm going to wait for one of the grown ups to come out and they can make us go in the shower. And when the, there's only two people that can drive, so when one of them come out, we all go to the shop and get some food. So I will try and ask them to film something so you can see what it's like for us when we go out. Alright, thank you for watching and listening to me. Bye bye. So the kiddos told me that um, they're doing a video today about what it's like to live with DID and different personalities and stuff. Um, I didn't know that they were going to do that. So. Yeah, that's news to me, but that's okay. Um, yeah, hang on a sec. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter, you can see what I'm doing. So today, oh, I had a horrible night last night. I woke up about four times, I had four different night terrors and I got no energy but unfortunately I also have no food in the house and my husband is away till very late tonight and he's been working crazy hours and he got sent to Scotland yesterday and he's just exhausted so I really do need to go do the shopping and he also ran out of my medication today, so I need to go and get that as well. So before I go out, just because everybody seems to be around today, I'm going to write a list of things to do. I normally have a to-do pad, but I don't know what they've done with it. So I'm going to write it in our little communication book. We just have a little book that we all write to each other in. Um. So everybody knows what we're supposed to be doing if we switch when I'm out. And also I will probably expect Charlie to come out at some point because she's already come out and got me in the shower. So if I get too tired when I'm out, she'll probably switch because she can finish the shopping and she knows my card number to pay and she can drive. So... She, yeah, I'm going to assume that she'll come out today 
so I'm going to write down what I wanted to do, otherwise she will just do whatever the kids want and my shopping will cost me a fortune and I can't afford it. So, because uh, the kids will just be like, let's buy loads of vegan chocolate. So, um, let's do the shopping list first, because I'll probably do that first. I need, I normally shop at Aldi, um, but I need things that they don't sell. Um, it's like a budget shop, a bit like grocery outlet in the States, but cheaper. Um, but they don't sell everything. Um, but I normally do my main shop there, but um, I need things like vegan milk that they don't sell. So I'm going to write my shopping list for Asda so that Charlie knows where to drive. That's like, Asda is like the budget main supermarket, Asda and Morrison's. But Morrison's is quite far away from where I live now and I'm not going up that side of town so it's cheaper to go to Asda. Anyway. I want um, coconut milk. And I think I'll say the chocolate version because the kids will drink that for breakfast with their cereals. They don't seem to like the regular version. And I've got the regular version for when I'm out. And I've got oat milk when I'm out so I can cut down on my sugar as much as possible but the kids will only eat the chocolate one um my husband needs gravy and I've run out of both chicken and I need the beef he's not vegan so there's that <laughs> um I need bathroom cleaner I went to clean the bathroom the other day and I couldn't get it to spray, it just kept foaming up so I think there's not much left in it. I tried diluting it with water but it didn't work. Um, there was something else, oh I need kitchen foil. I might try and get a non-stick because I've been struggling to get things off when my hands don't work very well. I um really struggle with cooking and washing up because if the kids are present with me firstly Vicky is left-handed and the rest of the well all of the kids basically and the ones who don't come out very often they don't have the same amount of dexterity as I do because I think it's just because then either slightly disconnected from the body or they're just not used to being in the body so I don't really understand like why but I just noticed that when other people are out that's not me and Charlie or Frankie they really struggle to do things. Um, some of the little ones are getting better like Alex is fine for the most things. The things that she would do at her age anyway but um, Vicky really struggles. Even like when she's just playing with Lego and stuff. So anyway, that was a bit of a sidetrack. So that's why I'm going to try non-stick foil. Because when we're dishing up dinner, I find it really hard. And I have to try and hold the pan and peel the stuff off. <sighs> you have to think about everything. Because like nothing's just simple when you've got DID. Or at least for me anyway. I don't know if it's the same for everybody. I can only talk from my experience. It just feels like since everybody's been switching and I've been aware of other people being out and co-conscious, I've just noticed how difficult everything is and I've had to work out different ways around things. Anyway, um, so this is the stuff I know I need to get that I've run out of. My husband bought me bin liners because I went to the shop three times and forgot them. And then it got to the point where I physically <laughs> needed to throw the rubbish out because and I didn't have any more. I can't think of anything else I need. I need veggies. I'll probably just buy whatever's on offer. Um, I need... What day is it today? 
I keep thinking it's Friday or Thursday and it's not, it's Wednesday. And I'm going to go shopping again on Monday. So I'm just going to do a small one today because I don't have the energy. Just to tide me over till Monday. I've got dinner for tonight because Charlie made a curry with the kids last night. But my husband won't eat that so... He, I'm going to get him hot dogs because I don't know if he's eating on the way home. But if he doesn't, they'll last a while. And I can put the rolls in the freezer if he doesn't want them. But I want to have food if he's hungry when he gets in. Because he'll get home really late and they're really easy to cook. Because um, I'm going to be dead by then. <laughs> Energy wise anyway. Um... Oh, I've got so many things going through my head and I'm trying to just concentrate on shopping lists uh, so yeah anyway what does it Wednesday so Thursday Friday I've got the dentist so I need something easy for Friday for both of us so I might take a freezing meal out on Thursday so I don't have to cook something for me and by freezer meal, I mean a meal that I've cooked and frozen, not a ready meal. I'm not a massive fan of them. And it's hard to find vegan ones anyway. And they're expensive. And I can't afford them. Oh, I've, I've got such a brain block today. I feel like I should cut this out of the video. I actually feel really tearful and I don't know why. But then this is what it's like, so maybe I should keep it in. I just got a wave of anxiety because I realised I'm going to the dentist in two days. I hate the dentist. I don't want to switch so I'm just asking Charlie to stay back because otherwise she'll come out and then I won't finish her shopping list and then she won't know what to buy okay I need an easy dinner for Steve I just feel heavy. Um, to all the little ones called Maz and Pedals. <laughs> it's because I used to call him Flower or Sweet Pea and Petal and they, they didn't hear me right and they thought I was calling him Pedals and it stuck. <laughs> so, because they didn't know how to say Petal, <laughs> apparently. So I need one of them, and then I need Saturday and Sunday and tomorrow, so that's three more dinner. Normally I would write exactly what I'm going to buy because I shop at the same place and I know what they have, but because I'm going to Asda I don't know what they have. So I'm just going to pray that <laughs> Charlie can work out what he likes. Cause Otherwise, he's going to be eating some strange food. She's making me laugh. She's like, yeah, bacon, burgers and sausages. <laughs> Which is basically his staple diet, but yeah. I'd rather he didn't eat that. I've got burgers in the freezer, Charlie, so don't buy more burgers. <sighs> I need... I've got vegan pie in the in the freezer but it's not great but I'll probably eat that I've got one freezer meal so I need three dinners three vegan dinners because as much as I like sweet potato and chickpea spinach curry I don't want to eat it all week if I buy veggies, I can do risotto. 
tomorrow. Yeah, I will do that. Um, if I just put full risotto, Charlie knows what that recipe. And she knows I've already got carrots, so she won't, won't buy more carrots. I know I need peppers. Well, this is real life. It's boring, isn't it? I feel like I've just been talking rubbish for 15 minutes. Might have to cut this down. Right, that's all I can think of. And then today's. Get medicine. Uh, it's already at the pharmacy. I've ordered it. I just have to go collect it. And there's something else on my mind. Oh, I need to check if I've got any petrol. My husband uses my car as well, so um, he doesn't always bring it back with a lot of petrol. So I just need to make sure I've got enough to get to counselling on Monday. And I can't remember when I last topped it up. And I know my husband's been all over, so... I think that's all I've got to do. Oh, I need to take out the rubbish. It's bin day today. I think I've already bagged all that up. Right, that's it. I'm going to go out now. Otherwise, I'm never going to get out and it's stupid o'clock already. It's like three o'clock and I feel like I've just woken up. And I'm not even convinced I'm awake yet. <laughs> so thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything shopping. Um, the kids don't come out in public very much because they get conscious that people look at them. So, yeah. Maybe I'll do a video like that another day. Anyway, I'm off. So I'll see you all in a bit. Bye. Look at the weather outside. Ooh, wet and gross. But I got my fuzzy boots on. And my belt trousers. And my coat. And I got my shopping bags. And I'm gonna go get in the cars. Down the garden path. Over to the little car. See, we call it kitty car because it's got a cat on it. Okay, I'll see you in the shops. Bye. And look at all the unicorns they got. They like the rainbow ones and the big ones. <laughs> and the dinosaurs. These are amazing. And the dinosaurs. Rah! I like that one on the best. I think that's my favourite dinosaur because he's a herbivore like me. And then you get this one. And this one. But I don't think we're allowed to buy any today. Look at the little octopus and the big unicorns. Wow. This one made me laugh because that's me. And that one's pedals because he's always grumpy and I always want to cuddles. <laughs> so I just got back from shopping at Asda. Oh my god, that was stressful. There were so many people. And I forgot that the kids leave school at 3. So there was so many people around and it just took forever and then I'm sure you'll see in this video somewhere that the kids got distracted looking at toys <sighs> anyway I ended up buying a bunch of stuff more than I planned 
because your kids come out and they wanted puddings like vegan stuff but at least I stacked up on vegan things I can't get an Aldi but it was just more than I wanted to pay and I got some more groceries in there so now I'm completely exhausted and I've still got to put all this away and make myself something to eat because it's six o'clock and all I've eaten all day is two pieces of toast which seems okay if you think that I woke up at two but my body still needs energy and I do not have any <laughs> Okay, so I'll come back when I finish putting everything away. So, I've put my shopping away and I'm eating my dinner. And I'm so glad I made this yesterday because there ain't no way I'd have cooked today. Um, I don't know what happened in the supermarket because I don't really remember. So I'm guessing some others come out. I forgot to buy hot dogs for my husband's dinner. And they didn't have any um, chocolate milk for the kids. And they didn't have um, when I was in there I got the idea to make some chocolate flapjacks to just um, have on hand if I'm not feeling up to making anything um, but I still need to eat something so I thought flapjacks would be good and I thought if I add some chocolate nibs in then the kids would eat them too but they didn't have any free from chocolate nibs they only had chocolate orange which I can't eat because I'm allergic to orange so I was a bit fed up to be honest it just took so long but I did get my medicine just I just got there in time I had to ask the it was really embarrassing I had to ask <sighs> I don't know how to say it. I get like really bad night sweats and I get um, sores on my skin because of that. So I had to ask them if there was any medicine I could get for that. I'm not convinced. So I don't know. I might have to ask the doctor but I don't go for two weeks and my skin just feels red raw and it's not really in a convenient place to show the person what it looks like either and what you're trying to treat so I don't know but I literally just made it before they shut so at least I got my normal medicine and I can basically hide in the house tomorrow and pull the duvet over my head until I feel better if you're wondering what this is it's sweet potato chickpeas and spinach with basmati rice I normally eat whole grain rice but with curry I prefer basmati for some reason. And this isn't a spicy curry because I'm not that great with spice. Although, since being vegan, I've been doing better. It's got um, garlic and ginger and cumin. The recipe says to put chilli flakes in but I just leave the chilli flakes out and it's also got tomato in here as well and onions so 
one of the things I do that I thought actually might be good to show is I try and get the kids to keep the receipts and the shopping lists if they come out or whoever comes out so that I can mark off what I did and didn't do so I can carry that forward to another day like for whatever reason it could be that they didn't have it or whatever Um, they didn't have my beans or risotto, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna sub it. I've done that. Oh, I forgot bacon. I got my vegan food. I got peppers. <laughs> little ones, look. Little ones, put. Can you see? Puddings, peas. Peas means please. <laughs> In little talk. And the other little put vegan sweeties. Now I can tell that this is Alex's writing because hers writing is bigger. And this <laughs> this is Vicky's writing because her writing is a little bit neater. Mm. Well, we definitely got pudding <laughs> and sweeties. I can guarantee that without even going to have a look. <laughs> um, I got my medicine. I forgot to take check my petrol, and I haven't done. My rubbish, yeah. I got sidetracked. My mum wanted a pair of shoes and I found them in the shop next door. My bill was £51 and I just feel like that's terrible because it was only a couple of days food. But I just find Asda so expensive. In fact, I find everywhere expensive, even Lidl's compared to Aldi. Lidl's is another, like cheap cut price place anyway i'm just ranting about rubbish now but i did get quite a few vegan things for my stock which i can use to make vegan pizzas and different vegan pasta dishes so even though i spent a lot of money hopefully those things will last a while um because they're like base ingredients it's just the sweets and stuff that gets on my nerves because they don't last five minutes because the kids will just eat them. Anyway, I also bought this magazine um, about making cards because, I don't know, they bought it. I don't really mind. They obviously asked Charlie. I got really stressed because there were so many people in there and I just got to a point where I had to get out. It was too much. But it's done now. I'm going to try and have a chill day tomorrow and do some self-care. But it's going to be really hard because I have to... What's the word? I have to deal with my benefits tomorrow. I get some help from the government because I can't work. But they want you to go for like medical assessments and stuff. And for me, because of my trauma history is to do with medical stuff. That's so true. So my um, doctor and... My counsellor wrote a letter to say, oh crap, um, to say that I can't cope with that and this was two years ago and they accepted it last year and they redid it again this year and this year they're not accepting it and it's taken them a whole year to review my case and it's November now and I sent this off in January and then I just got a letter the other day saying we've approved your request for a home visit which... I didn't request and in fact I specifically requested not to have anyone come to my home because this is my safe place and if they come here and I want to get away how am I going to get away when they're in my house so that's really been stressing me out and it's been in the back of my mind and my husband doesn't really want to deal with it which I don't blame him but it's just too much so I'm feeling a bit crap about that 
I'm very stressed. I even wrote them a letter to saying like how it how bad it makes me like anxious and different things and could they please stop sending me letters and just sort it out but no apparently not anyway that's my rant I'm sorry <laughs> it's been a bad day I'm normally a lot more cheerful but I do get moods like this so I suppose it doesn't hurt to show how difficult things are it's just normally I'm better at putting a brave face on it and being bubbly and so maybe I should do another video when I'm in a better mood anyway thanks for watching the video and listening to me and if you've got any questions about this video or DID you can come and find me on Seven Cups of Tea as life is my canvas and send me a message on my feed or something and I will do my best to answer. Okay, bye.